Hey guys, today I'm gonna be sharing with you my morning skincare routine. As you guys know, if you follow me, I've been really, really making a huge effort since the beginning of the year to really follow a pretty strict day protocol and night protocol for my skin. So I wanna share with you kind of an updated version of what I've really been doing and a few new products that I've found. Okay, the first new product is from Mary Kay. I actually found this product in a goodie bag from Create and Cultivate, which I was a speaker in New York at the Beauty. And I just wanna show you guys so you can see. I really, really love them because they're facial cleansing cloths that are dry. So that being said, they never dry out, which is great because half the time, this is how I leave my package and everything dries out. I really love these dry cloths, so you can make it as soapy as you want or you can make it as kind of dry as you want depending on how much makeup or debris or things you wanna get off your skin. So you can see the soap that is already in them. And literally, I gently wash my face and see how much comes off. That's just from my leftover nighttime. I just wanted you guys to know this is something that I didn't dry my face fully. I left it a little damp, which I think for some reason a couple of dermatologists over the years have told me that the product actually goes in a little easier um, into your skin. So I've always kind of left it a little bit damp. Okay, my next product, it's called Lotion P50. This is um, PIGM 400. So this is a little bit of a newer version from the original Lotion P50 from Biologique Recherche. Um, and this is great for exfoliating and brightening for the face. So it's a lotion, it's basically a toner for the face. I love it for so many reasons. Um, I love it because it alkalines my face. I love it because it gets out everything that if for some reason there is a little bit leftover makeup from not getting it off with a cleanser but for whatever reason it has really started to lighten my skin and I have to say it is amazing and it smells terrible it smells like vinegar but for some reason it works and I use this in day and in night all over and again it smells ooh, very skunky Literally, it kind of smells like apple cider vinegar. But for whatever reason, it alkalines my skin and it really, really, I have noticed a huge difference in even my makeup going on more smooth. Okay, the next product is my IS Clinical. And this is a vitamin C based serum that I think is really, really important. It's great at added, it's great added UV protection um, and it's probably the most um, antioxidant one that you can use on your face. It smells literally like vitamin C. And see how much I use. And I literally put a little pool in my hand so you guys can see. And I let that sit for about 30 to 60 seconds. And this is great. It protects you all through the day. Um, this is really great for skin that's irritated or quite sensitive or red, which you have if you have a little bit of acne. It's really, really good. I wanted to show you this as well. Um, I don't have to demonstrate it because you guys know what it does. It's called the Uplifter and it's from Nurse Jamie and this is great if you put it in the refrigerator if you use it on its own. Um, it's really great for getting it really woken up puffing right through here which I wanted to show you I do a little bit especially under the eyes and then I add my eye cream yes this is expensive it's the same bottle I've been showing you guys all year it's retrouvé it's the eye concentrate and it is fabulous and I use two pumps and again I lift that and again I use that morning and night Next is your Hyaluronic Serum. I am obsessed with Dr. Barbara Sturm. She's amazing. I'm gonna also talk about it a little bit later in a video about her glow drops when I do how to get the glassy look. Um, and this is so good. It's great protection, liquid hydration going into your skin. And if you notice, I really do like to layer all of these products. And if you're Korean, this is what it's all about. It's all about layering 
If you guys follow Michelle Lee, you should. If you do not, she is the editor in chief at Allure, and she talks about the 10 step process of Korean beauty. And you should follow the Glow Girls too. Dr. Barbara Sturm. This is hyaluronic serum, and this is so good. It's an active ingredient, concentrate short chain and long chain hyaluronic acid. So it's great for all day. Super Goop. I love my girls from Super Goop. I love this sunscreen so much and I love it because it is an everyday sunscreen. It's weightless, it's SPF 50, um, it's broad spectrum as well, and it is oil free. So as much as I'm layering, there's also no oil. Do a little bit of a dollop. And this sunscreen is great for acne prone people because it is oil free and some people are afraid if they have a lot of acne to use sunscreen. And this is one that will not affect your oil production, so don't be afraid of it. And it's great because it's weightless. And you can see how much I've been layering. I just wanna throw something in here just because I have to. Once a week, twice a week, I do a little bit of a power pill. You can do it day or night. It's literally one minute, one step exfoliating peel. Um, it's quick glycolic and salicylic acid exfoliating exfoliating peel with vitamin K, bilberry, and chamomile. And I would use that in replacement of my toner. So I would wash my face, quickly do the power peel, one minute, and then I would go ahead with my hyaluronic acid, my vitamin C, and so forth. Okay, so this is the newest thing, and I got this product from my girlfriend, Emisha Gormley, because she is obsessed with beauty and everything that goes with it. And this is called the Neo Elixir by Kevin O'Quan. And I wanna show you guys really up close. Can you see there are three levels? So you gotta really shake it, okay? But what is great about this is this is a weightless oil primer. Sounds weird, but it works. You can use it in two ways. You can mix it with your primer, use it as a primer, mix it with your foundation, or go primer, foundation, and then you're ready. You can also, do your foundation, do your um, all your makeup, and then use it as just to get that dewy on the areas that you want, maybe on your cheekbone, on your brow bone. This is an amazing, amazing product. I love it. I use it now as my primer, and then I go to my foundation, and I use it because it really makes my makeup stay on. Okay, just really quickly, I just wanna show you guys how great my foundation stays on when I'm doing this, okay? Do I have foundation? I do. Clay de Po, I am number 40, and this is called The Foundation. Clay de Po, The Foundation. It also has broad spectrum SPF 21. Okay, just so you guys can see how really well the foundation goes on. And again, I also let this set. I'll do my hair, I'll change a diaper, I'll get my clothes on. Again, I let it set 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, and then I come in with my concealer. I'll come back in, use a little bit more foundation, but I have to say the Neo Elixir really does make a difference in terms of hydration and really making my makeup stay on for a really long time. I love doing these videos. If you guys have any more skincare products that are must have, that are your hero products, please comment below, comment on my Instagram or my Facebook. Should I share my nighttime routine? Because it's really good. It's a little complicated, but it's really good. Love you guys, let me know. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys wanna hear from me too. We always are really into taking suggestions and we're also, really wanting to hear what you guys like and what you guys want us to hunt down for you or shop for you or show you um, and get that little bit of an inside scoop. Bye, you guys.